What's going on guys? Today we are here at Dollywood. Um, this is going to be awesome. We've been here before and we love this park. It is amazing. It, uh, lightning rods down for weather currently, but hopefully it opens up sometimes today. And uh, are you hyped? Oh, I'm super hyped. It's going to be great. Where does lightning rod rank in your rankings currently? Currently it's number three. Number three? I got a feeling it might jump up though. Yeah, hopefully. Well, so lightning rods down, but it's a station wave and no one likes that down there. We're pretty hyped, but <laughs> we don't know when exactly it'll open. There's that quad down and then the lift hill right there. This looks absolutely sweet. Well, I thought since we had to wait in this queue anyway, no one's even gotten in here since us, since the weather's down, I will give you a tour of the queue. So we have all this gas station themed stuff, these tanks, shock boards, these things. It's really cool. It's basically like, it's a very good themed ride, but I guess it's shut down right now, but it's all cool. Should be open soon. We're excited to ride this coaster. It's one of our favorites. Definitely top three, in my opinion. Best RMC in the world, in my opinion. Steel Vengeance is a little bit overrated. Still good. This thing is just insane. Uh, so yeah, that's the station. We're out of here. It's been too long. Uh, we're gonna go just walk around. Never mind. It's testing. We are staying in line. We're about to ride this thing. Let's go. We just got on lightning rod. Oh my freaking god. Wow, what even was that? That was so good. That's my new number one. That is his new number one. Not only is that my new favorite R not only is that my favorite RMC coaster I've ridden, that might be my number one roller coaster. Yeah, it's way better than Steel Vengeance. Way better Thank than Steel Thank you. Vengeance. I agree. The only thing that comes close, I don't know about this or else oral, but oh my god, lightning rod that was is crazy. so good. What do you rate it? Uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half out of ten? Nine and seven fifths. I read it a ten by four. Nine, not seven fifths. Nine point seven five. I read it a ten. We just rode Thunderhead at Dollywood, which is an amazing GCI. It's intense. It's got great airtime. Laterals everywhere. Such a fun ride. It's probably my second favorite GCI behind Ghost Rider. That's my Phenomenal. first favorite GCI because I haven't ridden Ghost Rider yet. That's yeah. way better than Mystic Timbers. I agree. Um... It's really good. I would have to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh, I'd give it 8.75. We just rode Mystery Mine, as you see, Mr. Vulture over there. Um, it was fun. It's always fun. It's not like the greatest ride, but it's good. Uh, it had pretty good air time. Uh, on the drops, that, that's it. The rest of the ride's pretty boring, but had some good drops, good inversions. It's okay. Yep. Probably rate it like a 7.65. I'd rate that a 7.5. I agree, it was pretty fun, but it gets old real quick. Yeah, it does. We looked at Wildwood Grove, but it was not, it was a little less than what it was hyped up to be. Like, we didn't ride Dragonfly yet because the wait's like 45 minutes, but uh, we're probably going to get on it tomorrow. And uh, it was. The whole Wild Grove section was just iffy. There was no good food options. It was a bunch they of had, tiny kids rides. They had one restaurant that whole the whole one place. restaurant. And it, it was, was called a country Mexican place, and all they had was pulled pork. And it was like Mexican like, it, it, it did not look good. Yeah, it did not look good at all. Kind of disappointed about Wild Wood Grove, but it's not really what we came here for. We came here for one reason only: lightning rod. Of course. <laughs> We just rode the park's drop tower at drop line and it was amazing. Unexpected drop, really forceful. The best view on a drop tower I've ever had. It was insane. You could just see the mountains in the distance and lightning rod. I did not think we were gonna be able to see that much, but we got up there and like, you could see pretty much all of lightning rod's track. You could see the mountains, it was pretty crazy. Easily, probably my favorite drop tower. Yeah, I would rate it a 10 out of 10 for drop towers. Uh, 10 out of 10, easy. We just rode Wild Eagle at Dollywood. It was a good wing coaster. What did you think, Kenna? I really liked it, and I think that it's right there up with Gatekeeper and Thunderbird. I agree with that, sir. Um, 
I would have to say it is a solid 8 out of 10. I'd have to go with a, for a wind coaster, I'd have to go with a 8.5. For a real coaster, I'd go for an 8. Alright guys, we just rode the Tennessee Tornado and it is a fun ride. Uh, of course it is. It has a good drop, good inversions. It's I'm intense. Fine. It was really intense. But yeah, the, pretty much the best thing about this ride is the drop. The drop is the best part. And it's just a fun ride overall. I'm going to go give it a 8.25 out of 10. Um, I like that a little more than Wild Eagle. So I'm going to give that an 8.25 as well. Guys, I promise you when you come to Dollywood, get the cinnamon bread. It's the best thing ever. Oh my God. And we are season pass holders, so we got a discount. And we are so excited to eat this. Look at this. It's Look giant. At this. Look at this. So good. Okay, guys. Wow. We just rode Larat Nuller. So, last ride of the night on Lightning Rod. It was insane. My favorite coaster. I believe that's the same thing with it you. It was pretty crazy, yeah. Uh, we, we also got like a sunset ride on Lightning Rod. It was pretty crazy. But yeah, this is easily my number one. Beats Seal of Vengeance, beats Fury. I think it's, it's a great ride. It is. And um, yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. I'm moving that up to a 10. 10? Wow. And uh, it was just amazing. It was really fun. My favorite coaster I've ridden. We rode it like 10 times uh, at night. Not at all at night, but like in a row pretty much. And it was amazing. So thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this Dollywood vlog. We'll be back a little bit tomorrow. And we will see you next time. Peace out.